Azazel, King of the Hill. But this was back when he was playing Rashid, I believe. Ah, before Abigail was released. Yeah, yeah way back in the day. I'm really comfortable with this character, Abigail. You know, it's, it's a character that you don't see that many people playing. And he is super strong. He has great mix-ups and really great buttons. And uh, he can just put you in that situation where you just have to guess. You just have to guess how your life is going to go. And if you know how to avoid those situations or like minimize kind of the damage you can take, it's a little better for you, but still not great. Yeah, this uh, definitely makes you have to approach this matchup a little differently. Now. And we saw Cool Kid play some amazing, amazing matches Ooh. yesterday. See that interrupt already from Strider. That's good work. He's already becoming... You can already tell he's got the matchup, and Strider's always been a guy that studies. That fireball is risky. If yeah. you don't have it in the right space, you're going to eat that fierce. And we saw a bunch of the resets that um, Cool Kid has at his disposal yesterday, and all through today even. And this is one of them right here, just to try and keep you honest. But what nice a defense. block. Yeah, he stayed committed. He didn't care about eating the command throw. And the command throw off that run has tons of frame advantage. You have to eat a setup after. Dash up. Strider. Oh, another one. There's a lot of knowledge. You can already tell Strider has really thought about how to play this matchup. Oh, yeah, but that... Well, <laughs> maybe it doesn't matter how much you think about it because sometimes... Okay, okay, counter hit on the wake up, Chad. There was no charge down fierce or anything, but the way Strider is playing this is way different from Wolf Rune. Oh, yeah. He's not standing as far back. He's standing real close and he's threatening two options. Buffered, crouching, medium punch, and fireball. And at that range, the options to beat one or the other are very different. Mm -hmm. You can see it, right? Buffer, crouch. Oh, what a whip punish. Look at the range. Like you said before, he is finding every possible option and opening up Cool Kid. Now he's facing this corner. Stunned really high right now. Sets out the fireball right in front. Tries to go for the jump in. Not going to work out. Gets the cross under as well. Switch side. Gets command throw again. Strider looking really good in this first game. Anything is going to do it. Sweep in the activate, and he finds the EX command throw. Uh -huh. Off the wall, and look at this damage. And we've seen these reset options go straight into full pump Ultra David. Oh, wake up three frame again. He is not afraid of the meaty timing, knows it's not going to be legit. And, you know, I mentioned that in the punk match. Knowing when your opponent has a real meteor or not is super important. See, Cool Kid has to think about it. We got to see those charge down fierces a little bit more, or charge back fierce or whatever on meaty. But the way Strider's approaching this matchup, very different than what we saw from Wolf yeah. He's showing it a lot of knowledge. Again, notice that he's not backing up to throw fireballs. That allows Abigail to just clip you with the fierce. He's staying in range, right? He's willing to play up close against Abigail right here, where he can whip oh, punish. Oh, wow. His crush counter, though, at the beginning of this match and right into the corner. Cool Kid. Oh, so much offense. Flip. Yeah, uh -huh. you got to deal with the, the plus frame after. Oh, nice. And this is a completely different game, it seems, from Mr. Cool Kid. But pits and overextends on that sweep, and that's going to give Strider a chance. Gets that command throw back into the corner. Trigger is active. Another throw. Strider looking a lot better. And once again, turning on this offense. Anything for stun. Backdash clipped in the air. And Strider is running away with this round. But... Abigail, a lot of life over there. Is going to have one more oh, chance. Oh, the Hit. elbow got stuffed at the counter hit. Clean pickup from the cool kid. A lot more offense from him in that route. Strider could not keep the same space. He needs this middle of the screen where he can whip punish with medium elbow. He can buffer crouching oh, medium my. punch. But save start as last time. This time the wake up button. And now you see Strider not waiting this time around. Hits a button, resets the situation, and backdashes to that uh that midpoint in the screen. Like you said before, whip definitely punish. with the whip punish range. He's so good at that. Whether it's elbow, standing roundhouse, he's ready with these whip punishes. Once again, turning on the offense. He's struggled to deal with that cross up. Activate, smacks him in the ceiling, and it's gonna spend the ceiling. This is huge damage. Mm -mm -mm. Jersey party boy. All right. One mix-up could clean it up now. Charged it up. Oh, Armor, wow. but the run cancel. And Cool Kid already knew what to do. Clean answer. And you see, Strider's got to think about that one. It's a good try. Armoring to beat that, that armor is a good try. But Cool Kid canceled into the run, which has an additional hit of armor. So it was like, all right, you want to get through my armor with your one armor? Boom. Now you've activated my trap card. <laughs> you've activated my trap card. No. <laughs> What could it be? I know that you would try to EX. Use your armor to get through. But I knew as well. And I used an EX armor move to get through your armor. No way. Man, we've seen a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? Dang right. 
Show. Drawing out the sweeps. Yeah, he's kind of testing that range where uh, Strider is really, you know, holding down and waiting for those whiffs to get the whip punish. Oh, yeah, he tried that a lot against Punk. If that's blocked, that tick throw will work. Look at that dash up jab, dash up three frame, not even giving Cool Kid a chance. Gets the back throw this time around, and we've seen these situations work out too tremendously well. Goes for full oh, charge, and armor. once again, the triple trap card activation back dashes it, and there's the activation on the standard medium kick. Still not dead. Abigail has oh. the chance, gives her the finger guns after the back dash and the jump back medium kick from Laura. Man, what a scramble right there! Yeah, that was really sick. I like Strider's option. He was like, all right. I need two hits of armor to get through this. So now crouching fierce into the EX. And Cool Kid still, he had the answer ready. It did a lot of great damage, actually, which added up in the end. That's why he got the W. Counter hit confirmed a little too far. And we've seen a lot of times that a Cool Kid definitely loves to control that range, makes you afraid. Those cross-up options in the corner, whether it's throw or jump medium kick, he controls it so well and makes amazing comeback reads. Oh, two flips in a row. This time to interrupt. Man, Strider, very aware in this matchup, as you'd expect from him. And now you see Cool Kid checking that range a little oh, more. Oh, the wow. ZA, what a reaction. Okay. Electric pinball, I see you. Tries to go for that cross up again. Strider's just holding back, gets the command throw, and that's going to be another game on the side of Strider. Man, you could see that his answers are really well studied. That's what you always expect, right? Same, same kind of deal when you watch him play Street Fighter 4. He really studies and he's aware of all the options. He's one of those players. So you can tell that that, you know, is really a part of this match, right? A lot of people not really ready for Abigail. Try to get his homework. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> Preaching. <laughs> and Strider, he's willing to hear her out. Wow. Man, look at the, this conversation. Now he just cheers. He was like, you know what? You got me. You got me. He's embracing it. And we saw earlier uh, that armor, that EX backup. Cool Kid has with Miss Cool Kid. Definitely taking his toll on Punk in some of those that situations. That's three hits of armor. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an extra hit. Uh-oh, is it the Rashid pick coming out now? Now, I'm pretty sure Strider has had more than enough experience, especially with his tournament history, especially just recently at Canada Cup. But, oh, wow, Cool Kid locks in with Rashid. Now, I spoke to um, Cool Kid earlier, and he told me yesterday that he was going to play Abigail as point on some matchups. Um, going with that matchup being Abigail Laura says it's not working out too well. Goes back to Rashid, and we've seen him play Rashid before. Definitely one of the better Rashid players in the stage, if you've seen him before. Yeah, he was looking very comfortable against Wolfron Laura yesterday, but Strider's game plan and sort of, you know, study and approach to the matchup is very different. He's one of the few players who actively has a game plan. You know, a very clear, concise game plan, and it worked well. So now he's got to deal with Rashid. A little bit of a different match. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the control, the space that Cool Kid's willing to, to try to occupy with normals. Not working out right now, but it's definitely different. But this matchup doesn't seem like it's faring too much better for him. And 801 Strider gets the stun already. Charges up that big fireball. Probably not going to kill. Still in a bad position, though. Takes the command throw. And Strider, one round now from eliminating Cool Kid after qualifying through the LCQ yesterday. Oh, clean anti-air again. He was actually trying to bait out an uppercut. It looked like counter hit confirmed. Man, Strider's looking on point today. Mm -hmm. You can tell he did his homework, no matter what the match is. Ooh, right out of range of that down fears. And he's just so sure of these options. They don't want Strider working on another stun. Pop jumps Ooh. back for the B trigger. Picks up with the mixer. Try to armor right through. More pressure now. This is Cool Kid's opportunity. Throws the V reversal. Oh, switches under him again to put him back in the corner. Stays on the same side. Tries to go for that throw. Look at the stun weighing out. Cancels in the EX. Nice counter hit with the three frame. And the cool kid is looking pretty wavy. It's not over just yet, though. Yes, no. Close. Oh. Next hit, and the BD is on time. He gets the round. Try to trying to wake up with that three frame button. Get everything started. Couldn't do it. What, a what buffer. the? <laughs> Didn't like it. Buffer elbow. And you see that low profile from Rashid. One of the big parts about this matchup against Laura, his crashing medium kick just goes under a lot of mm -hmm. her, her, a lot of her moves, a lot of her fireballs. Oh wow, that HP spinner. We talk about it all the time. Definitely one of the best anti airs in the game. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Oh wow, crush counter at the tail end. Still able to get that elbow follow up and switch his sides. And Strider being very respectful on Cool Kid's wake up, expecting maybe an uppercut. Life just about even at this point. 
Yeah, I would say so. I mean, and that's one of the big tools Rashid has at his disposal. It kind of slows down that offense for a lower because you have to think about it. Here's an activation. Oh, tries to charge up. Cool kid brave enough that. There you go. Uses that EX to get through. Wow, confirm. And it's going to be another knockdown. Not looking good for Cool Kid. Tries to go for a reset. Off Smart the wall. enough. Oh, oh crush, crush counter. counter. Goes right in the B trigger. What's on the table? What are the options? Reset. Wow, what a block by 801 Strider in the EX Fireball to close it out. And that is going to send the Cool Kid home. Wow, what a set. Regardless of that count, that was.